people think they can change the world, half the people are happy. And I think we need more of that in Canada. Uh, we talking about Canadian swagger? This is what I'm saying. People listen to Paul's decision, but not me. Yep, ask a risk. 1997. Building one today. I have to turn away 500 sales because Canadians don't believe in Canadian swagger. Just lost 10,000 sales for these barges. I'm so pissed off. I've been working on these barges for so long. A girl I friend I had before. I, I was an artist. I can crop my stuff in Photoshop, but I don't know how to make layers because it's a word thing. Because I never went to school. So I was cut off welfare. There's my uh, car over there I sleep in on the side of the road every night. I'm here at 5 in the morning. This is my shop. And I listen to CBC and I hear this stuff all the time. Oh, we're going to help the homeless. Are you? You don't help the homeless. It's fake. I'm an entrepreneur. I've been working hard for years doing my artwork. This is how I work. I make a drawing, and then I draw how I'd make all these mechanical functions work in it. And then I work on it. That happens to be Nick's ship here. I don't want to get into things too long, you know. There's the back wings for it. You know, i got to figure out how to melt all this stuff out of just straight sheet plastic so not only do I have to draw it then I got to draw how every angle makes every angle so you know there's the base bone it's all made out of sheet plastic and that's the bottom of that and then the cockpit goes on there and there's the other parts of the wings and the wings go together so there's the crap from there and then the idea is is you don't know that that whole wing comes apart to separate to go this way and this way and then it makes it from a ship like that to a ship like this so that's how i think and that's my idea of drawing then i get to draw the instructions it's a lot more than just drawing a picture so as you can see i saw my work all over the states all over the world except for canada because canadians don't believe in me in my hometown in africa even Australia, even places like Thailand, Singapore and stuff, even places like Indian Lahar, even places like Geneva, places like Norwegian and up in Russia, uh, you know, I just stopped putting them on the map and started listing them on the side. I just stopped after they started editing me last, auditing me last year. I'm supposed to have ADHD, so I'm really hyper-focused on my work when I do it. But back to their bullshit. This is what they're talking about. Too many toes. We want to. We don't want to. You know, really ruffle feathers when it comes to building businesses. So I'm told. Well, I don't make t enough money for this. Well, I built these in 1997. So when Facebook came out and they put out the first action live movie, Hasbro knew who I was and asked me. Cause, you know, me and my mother, everybody. I'm gonna turn this off. Yeah, it's all bullshit. There's nothing for me. The self-employment says you make 25. So yes, okay, I make you know, so much. So this month I've made $2,000, but it has cost me probably $800 to ship. How much do you think this big, huge box and this big robot, sir, that once you, you know, I made this. Uh, it's a Y wing. I'm going to show under here is what I'm trying to show. So to me, this is, this is a one-off. What's holding me up is I got to make the, uh, things so it compacts for shipping because once you go these go out here and this is the neck for it and this is the cockpit and then other people just build this big huge y-wing 55 inch get ten thousand dollars five thousand dollars i'm lucky to get 800 bucks for this and i got to make mine have 
all, everything. You know, I gotta figure out how to make scissor gearing as a retard who's never gone to school. How to make these wings clip in here and it folds. It comes into a stay station and makes another ship and stuff. And all these come off and make different. This one's for R2 and stuff. And this has got R2's place in there, little cabinets in there. So I gotta figure out all this stuff and wire all these little lights into it. I made a mistake with uh, some hot glue guns, so I gotta go over it. These are supposed to go. I gotta get this in the mail today. And this one I have to dremel. Don't have power. I have waited and waited, so I have to do a bunch of. We had a bunch of water thing here, so I traded them doing water for the last 24 hours to get some power for the day to do the soldering in this gun. So we can do the hot glue gun melt finish on this. So I can use the dremel to do for this mask because so I can charge my computer so I can talk to you guys. But I don't want to get into it. But that's what Justin Trudeau is talking about. Swagger is talking about Canadians instead of asking fucking other Canadians for fucking money. Hey, how much money am I going to fucking charge my neighbor? How am I going to get some money out of my neighbor there so I can pay my rent over here? Quit fucking asking other Canadians for money. Quit asking the fucking Canadian government for money. Do like I do. Sleep in your fucking car. Build something with your fucking intelligence and your fucking brains. If a fucking retard like me who's never fucking gone to fucking school lives in his car, cost me 300 bucks for my shop here, and I got another little thing around here to hold my possessions. You know, I've been holding on to, let's see what I could show you here, but I don't want to get into it. My speakers, my cords, this has got all my robot collection, and yeah, I'm not even going to get into it. So I'm thinking of just getting rid of my guitars, you know, my TV, my stereo, all the stuff you need to live. All I need is stuff for work. And if work goes bad, then I don't need that. And then just a homeless bum that sits in my car, depressed, looking at the ground all day. That's what I get from my intelligence for bringing my artwork that I sell all over the effing fucking world. And I ask everybody, since 1988, how much do I give the Canadian government for every dollar I bring from outside countries into our country? And where do you get your money, you cocksucker? And fuck are you. Fuck, I'm so pissed off at these assholes. I gotta pay six different prices at the petrol can next door for a hot chocolate from the same girl with a beard because she's in a pissy fucking mode. Oh, no one will rent me a place because I'm not on welfare and I'm not getting a government check. We don't rent to self employed people. Yeah, I might make five grand one month. I might make 50 bucks only one month. That's how it goes. So I need a place with a landlord. This landlord's a really nice guy. I see tons of empty storage rents I can rent for another 200 bucks each. I, every week I got one to three people saying they'll work and they never show up for work. I got tons and tons of work. These are the jobs I'm doing by myself. Right here for this many people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I've got fourteen jobs I'm doing by myself. Here's one of them. I got six hundred bucks when I finish this. I got twelve hundred dollars for that. That's a good job. That's taken me a month to do. Twelve hundred dollars to other people. There's fuck all when you're paying. Our low income housing at the end of the road here is uh, $645 a month rent for a one bedroom apartment. So they're going to sell it to the guys down here in Vancouver, which are obviously bikers, and going to make it $2,000 a month low income housing. Thanks for making life easier for me. No water, no power. This is my second time I've had power this year. I'm so pissed off. I'm so pissed off. And so what it does is gives you a mental problem. So you can't do your work. I'm sitting here. I can do my work. Now I hear this on the radio about this bullshit. Oh, they attacked Justin Trudeau. They just, you know, if I was Justin Trudeau, any of those guys started laughing at me in the house of commons like that, boom, you're out of here. Out. What's going on with this country? This is backwards. Poor Justin Trudeau. He's trying to tell people, be an entrepreneur. Start doing stuff. This is Canadian swagger. Stuff that you make. Stuff that you've done all. I've spent my whole life out trying to figure this stuff out. This is all made from hand, from sheet plastic. I didn't borrow anything. This is made from sheet plastic, you can see, and then I put stuff on top of it. I've actually busted up four X-wings as I bought them for these guys who was missing a little part, found the part. No, it's not in the box with the name. Well, the hell with it. I'll use it for parts to build the thing. These are Star Wars X-wing, the end of it, right? And trying to find some eggs in wintertime was hard. I'd wait till Easter time. And these I keep doing and doing and doing. It's wrong plastic. I've tried so many glue. Today I finally have a drill to drill power it. So that's what's going on with this, what they were talking about on the radio. Let's catch the last little bit of what they're talking about. To know that if you want to compete, um, if you want to be your best, which is how I've always defined competition, that you have to bring that confidence. And I think 
we've been struggling with this a little bit on this conversation is how do you define swagger? How do you define confidence? And I think that's of utmost importance. And I know that, you know, I'm faced now in, in, in daily life with challenges that um, I have to stretch to meet. All these people and are buying my Canadian swagger. And that deep down belief that I can reach that, that I can challenge myself, that I can ask others where I need help for that, um, then I'm not going to achieve it. So I absolutely use that confidence every day in my life. And I would say it's the biggest gift that sport has provided me. Yeah. So I just got to put down being attacked all the time, but it's really hard when I pull up after doing this work all day, I make this video, I got to go sit in this car and usually I got to go find power at Tim Hortons and I don't have a connection to Tim Hortons. So I got to go down to the park where there's no power, but I can use the, anyways, people give me the most dirtiest looks. He's parked way at the other end of the park or this girl's parked. She's going to come park beside me, stand by her car, but make sure that she's going to come back to her car, even though she's standing in front of her car, lock it. Grab her purse and give me the most dirtiest look like some thief. Meanwhile, I'm trying to do fucking 20 fucking jobs. And every time I spend three months, go look for a place to live. It's always some biker with a wig, fake, fucking shows me fucking big, huge space. Here's your shop. Here's a place to live. And here's a place where you can sleep and everything. And you get there and it's a little tiny. Oh, well, here's the closet, actually. I was going to rent you. If you just move those greasy motorbike parts there, I'm sure you can stick your needle in your arm there. Just fill up these welfare forms. We don't all get welfare. We don't all like outreach bound place giving out fucking needles. I have so many people fucking when I yell at those needle people on the streets, everybody comes out and yeah, they were on your side. Let's get rid of this outreach bound fucking needle place. So there you go. And you're punking off. Oh, here's a good example. Before I go, I just got to say a big, huge Megatron suit. It's a big, huge. These are the big, huge boots for it. Here's the head for it. I built all these lights into the head for it. I haven't even got a chance to turn them on. Because it's a nighttime, all the lights. Really good in the daytime in Vernon here. Millions of people want to take my picture of it. At the end of the day when I'm leaving, this guy in Chewbacca's suit wants to, oh, let's fight me, fight me. I don't want to fight you. And that's the picture they put up. You don't know who's going to show up, like I'm a bad guy or a terrorist or something, for my ingenuity and my creative work. And who are these guys that attack me? They always got tattoos. They always driving a big black Ford truck. And they always give me the look. Have a nice day.